What is the news today? What should the lead be? If you were running a newsroom, what is it that you would say is the most important story happening in America, happening in the world? How would you see it? Is it the latest mass shooting? The latest act of political hypocrisy? How would you frame what's happening to the American people and explain it? Well, here's the thing. A former president of the United States is becoming increasingly unhinged as the walls close in on him. What story could conceivably be more important in the full context of every other story than a former president who is currently leading his party's nomination fight by 50 points using increasingly violent and incendiary language. How is that not the most important thing happening in these United States? The thing that we all have a stake in. The former president and the Republican frontrunner is baiting an unhinged person to assassinate General Mark Milley. It is exactly what it appears to be. Donald Trump is suggesting that Milley be killed for treason against Trump for nothing, nothing at all. It's madness. Here's a question. Does the national media not believe Trump means it when he says he's going to shutter Comcast and NBC News? Do they believe he's joking? That it's a rhetorical excess? A little bit of campaign joie de vie? A little come see, come saw. What is it that they hear? Because what they should hear is a man who raised his hand and desecrated an oath that bound him to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States is promising on day one to tear down the First Amendment freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly. Donald Trump, we know, has assaulted intellectually and by desire all of these foundational elements of American society. He wanted the military to open fire on peaceful protesters in front of the White House. What happens if there's not a General Milley there? What happens if there's a General Flynn there? Would the American military open fire on the American people on the order of its commander in chief? Do we want to find out? Do we think that Donald Trump is unserious about his intention to give the order? Do we think there is anything restraining him from giving it, do we believe he is unserious when he says he wants retribution and revenge against his political enemies? Why is it that seven years on, even now, so many people, people who run the newsrooms in America, people who stand in positions where they are the tip of the spear in opposing Donald Trump. Do not take him literally and seriously. Donald Trump has made perfectly clear what it is that he intends to do. And the violence is becoming more and more central to his message. And it's expanding like a metastatic cancer. 
violence towards the judge's clerk, violence towards the judge, violence towards senators, violence towards congressmen, violence towards the idea of American. Everywhere you look, there is Donald Trump preaching a gospel of violence. And out there is a snarling malevolence of extremism that we see surface and manifest itself on plain blue sky days in cities like Orlando when the Patriot Front marches and neo-Nazis gather in the plain light of day. They are incited, they are inspired by one man, Donald Trump, whose rhetoric grows more violent by the day. The simple truth is, is that there are 300 million guns in America and scores of unstable people. That's what Donald Trump is counting on. He's hoping to trigger one of them. What Donald Trump understands intuitively is that he will be the answer for millions of Americans in a season of chaos. The more chaos that he can create, the more fires his league of arsonists and constitutional vandals can start, the more damage that he can do, the greater his claim to restore order will be. Donald Trump has a plan. His MAGA lieutenants have announced it. The plan is quite clear. They seek to tear down most of the institutions of the federal government of the United States within six months time. That six month time frame is a dog whistle to every white supremacist in America because they recognize it as the time marker of how long it took Adolf Hitler to completely decimate and disassemble the Weimar Republic of Germany. What Trump hopes to create are the conditions of Weimar America. That is why he is orchestrating the impeachment of President Biden behind the scenes. It is why he is orchestrating the craziness in the House of Representatives. It is why he is pulling the strings behind the scenes of the Republican debate primary process, because in the end, Donald Trump is the answer for many to the smallness, to the silliness, to the chaos. Donald Trump's visage says it all. This is not the face of a man who believes in democracy. This is the face of practice and rehearsed defiance that's sending a message, which is this, I am the state. And we will lose democracy and quickly our freedom and liberty should he be returned to political power. What the 24 election will be about is freedom. The freedom to believe in what you want, to speak about what you wish, to dream, freedom of conscience and religion and assembly. The ability to create businesses, the ability to be judged on the basis of your character, not your sexual orientation, the color of your skin. President Biden was right when he said, there is a darkness growing in America. It has long been here. It has always been here, but now it is manifesting itself again and spreading on a tide of antagonism and virulence and threats of violence by a man who was given the greatest honor the American people can give a fellow citizen. He was elected to George Washington's seat to the office of President of the United States of America. 
And what he did when he was there was shameful. And what he's doing now is worse. And the consequences for us, if it is not stopped, may well be the loss of our American democracy. And nobody in their right mind in this moment should underestimate the peril from the words, from the threats, or from the election that is to come. If freedom is ever lost in this country, it will be by a vote and a choice. And that choice for all of us lies just over the horizon. We all have a very big stake in it. Get involved while you still can. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. Also, for more content just like this, please consider joining our Warning Premium community. You can find out more in the description below.